When thinking of the world of dress washes, it's hard to even think of a few that are on the same level of that of the Reverso. It's honestly in a league of its own and has become a fixture in the world of horology since it was invented back in 1931. But in recent decades, the Reverso has gotten some new looks and now it has to walk that fine line of being the dress elegant watch or the kind of sports watch that was originally intended to be while kind of adapting to the new modern norms of things going a little bit more casual. And today we look at a watch that I think walks that line with the Reverso Tribute Duo Face. Now in the last few years, the Reverso has really just kind of went up the ladder in terms of watches that I have just more appreciation for. And now I think it's safe to say it's just one of my favorite watches in general. Much of this recent fascination comes down to kind of a better understanding of the entire catalog. As similar to say the Omega Seamaster collection, it definitely takes time to really understand the layout of the Reverso's offering. And despite having a considerable amount of appreciation and admiration for many Reverso models available, there's one interpretation of the Reverso's case architecture that manages to be impossible to ignore in its presence on the wrist while remaining elegant, the Reverso Duo Face. The idea of the Duo Face was first introduced in JLC's catalog back in 1994, when a lot of changing was going on and brands kind of redefining themselves after the quartz crisis of decades prior. And in the years since, it has become a staple in the Reverso collection and has ultimately become one of the best conversation starters in all of watchmaking, in my opinion, as you'll undoubtedly wow nearly every single person that takes a close look at it to only wow them even further once you show them the trick of flipping it over, displaying a completely separate dial on the back. The reference we're gonna be looking at today is a personal favorite of mine with the reference 3988482. For case dimensions, we're looking at 28.3 millimeters by 47 millimeters, case thickness of 10.3 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, water resistance of 30 meters, has a sapphire crystal here, and the movement powering the watch, a manual 854A2. So it's pretty safe to say when wearing a Reverso that's pretty much unlike any other watch you're gonna be able to strap on. That said, there's a lot to choose from in terms of the different case variants. So picking one that's right for you might take a little bit of time. And I've done a complete kind of overview of just looking at a few different case options within the Reverso range and kind of showing it on my wrist in a video last year, but I'll also have some helpful resources down below if you wanna just kind of dig into this a little bit deeper. But when it comes to the Reverso Duo Face models, these cases, as perhaps expected, skew to the larger side of the spectrum of Reversos. On the wrist, this watch with its 47 millimeter lug to lug and thickness of slightly over 10 millimeters, wears relatively well on my six and a quarter inch wrist or 15.9 centimeters. Despite it perhaps pushing the boundary a bit more than other variants, it still manages to sustain the elegance that so many reversos have when on the wrist. The case executed in high polish has a rounded structure along the sides of the case and a strong slanted profile at the lugs to help form to the wrist and exhibits no strap flaring. In other words, the 47 millimeters is going to wear true to the measurement, if not smaller. In addition, to match the wearable case architecture noticed from the top of the watch, more can be said on the underside, with the chassis displaying a slight curve for a snug wearing experience. Between the lugs and the Reverso, we have a high caliber genuine leather strap with a signed deployant buckle, and the strap is rigid to start, but breaks in beautifully and was designed by Casa Fagliano, a well-known leather goods manufacturer with an emphasis on polo boots. So a nice tie-in to the watch's originally intended purpose. However, one point of emphasis for these modern JLC straps and deployment buckles is their easy to swap system. On the backside, the straps have a more standard quick release bar to swap straps, but what I find even more useful is the ability to swap buckles quickly. As on the underside, you'll notice an indicator stating push here that will allow you to seamlessly release the buckle end of the strap for quick buckle swapping if you wanna say add your deployant to another buckle on one of your straps. Now, when it comes to the design and this, the feel that this watch gives off, unlike many other watches out there, we have two separate dials to look at. So let's take a little bit closer look at both of them. Starting with the front of the watch, we have this lovely sunburst blue dial. 
This dial style is one you might have seen a bit over the last few years from JLC, so it's great to see this dial layout making its way to the Duo Face offering, with this particular watch being introduced in 2019. The styling of this dial and watch in general has elements where the 1931 original is certainly felt, however, there's a little modern flash as well. Starting with the blue dial surface, executed in a fine sunray brush style that is one of the more incredible blues that I've seen on a dress watch, changing in the light significantly, transitioning to a vivid blue when in the shadows, that when combined with the polished Dauphine hands and applied markers, this watch just simply shimmers, even under very little light. Combining this with the simple railway minute track and running small seconds at the six, the dial can probably be best described as strikingly beautiful while remaining classy. And this theme continues as you begin to flip the watch over as you'll get a glance at the sunray engraved stainless steel undercarriage, providing a nice sight when going through perhaps one of the most satisfying motions a watch enthusiast can ever experience in flipping the reverso around. On the flip side, we have a complete contrasting dial in striking silver, with polished Dauphine hands and applied polished markers on the center dial, being surrounded by an alluring Clouté Prairie finish that works incredibly well with bringing just this dial to life. This side also features a central 12-hour display, and near the bottom, a small 24-hour dial that can be used as a day-night indicator. Now, having essentially two separate watches in one watch is one thing, but it also serves incredibly useful in terms of its function, with this reverse side also allowing the user to track an additional time zone. Yet unlike other watches with this ability, instead of even touching the crown, you could just give this reverso a simple flip. But this watch gets even more added benefit since the watch has the ability to also isolate the hour hand without stopping the balance. When pushing the watch away from the chassis, the hour hand can be independently adjusted with the help of the hidden trigger at the top of the watch's case. A significant step up in the trigger's placement compared to other earlier iterations with this function, with those featuring the trigger on the side of the case, which in turn really pulled away from the sleek and dressy appearance of this piece. But with this tribute duo face, JLC appeared to master this functionality, all while delivering the same stunning hand finishing fans of the brand have come to expect. Hidden from view, we have a movement powering both of these dials with the JLC 854A2. This 3.8 millimeter thin manual caliber is constructed using 160 components, operates at three hertz or 21,600 vibrations per hour, has 19 joules, has a free sprung balance, and has a power reserve of 42 hours. In addition, the watch comes marked on the case back with the 1000 hours test stamp, an internal testing standard done by JLC to ensure the watch's optimal chronometric performance, resistance to temperature changes and atmospherical pressure, robustness to shocks and magnetic fields, waterproof testing, and power reserve testing. And for those with any knowledge of JLC's history, know their great innovation in the world of movement construction. And if you're not, be rest assured that you're getting a very good one here. So despite my feelings that you should really just buy a watch because you love it, that should be it. You really shouldn't have to consider anybody else's opinion when buying a watch. However, I do think it's kind of fun when you can have a watch that maybe represents your personality and maybe you could stir up some conversation. Yet with the rise of digital technology, we've now seen an unfortunate rise of superficial boasting where likes and views have kind of just become a form of currency. This new norm is sadly felt quite often in the world of watches, which I see all the time, with many seeing watches simply as a way to just grab attention. But as many watches play in the arena of getting quick attention by being in your face, this Reverso Tribute Duo Face does the opposite being a timepiece that exudes class, and instead of grabbing attention, just simply keeps it, while appealing to what is the most important thing, the wearer. And with this elegant and timeless design, great functionality, the watch will be a perfect companion for those looking for the ultimate square dress watch, and a watch that will undoubtedly wow you every single time you look down at it or flip it over, as well as any person that asks the question, what watch is that? So guys, I wanna thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon. That all really helps out, so I'd appreciate that. Also, what are your thoughts on the Reverso in general? I just love to see comments. What are your thoughts on the Duo Face as well? Uh, this Duo Face is one of my favorites personally within uh, the current collection from JLC. Uh, however, I think the only rub you can have with the Reverso in terms of my perspective is just, you have to have a certain lifestyle to really pull this off. It's not a everyday kind of wear watch unless you have that lifestyle to support it. But 
No doubt an amazing dress watch. Love to see your comments down below. Also guys, if you wanna stay up to date with giveaways, what's going on with new videos, and kind of what's going on in my world, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's probably the best way to have direct communication with me uh, instead of YouTube. So definitely follow me there. So guys, thank you again for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.